Hello everyone. Last time we have seen the condition of reciprocity and condition of symmetry of our, all four basic parameter. Now we are going to summarize it. Condition of reciprocity for all four parameter. Z parameter is equal to this one. Z12 is equal to Z21. Y parameter Y12 is equal to Y21. T for T parameter del T is equal to 1 and for H parameter H12 is equal to minus H21. So for a given network, if any one of the condition is satisfied, we say that network is reciprocal. Similarly, the condition of symmetry for all four parameters are given like this. Okay, any one uh, condition is satisfied, then we say the network is symmetrical network. Okay. Then next is next topic we are going to start that is uh, we call as the interrelationship between parameters. Okay interrelationship between parameters what is the use of this interrelationship between parameters so if you know the one parameter how to obtain other parameters let us write if you know the z parameter from this z parameter how to obtain y parameter abcd parameter h parameter like this if you know the t parameter from this how to obtain z parameter y parameter and h parameter like this so therefore there is need to uh, obtain the relationship between these parameters and the relationship between parameters uh, we are going to see now first of all the express z parameter in terms of y parameter okay so matlab if you know the y parameter from this y parameter how to find out the z parameter so the basic relationship between z parameter and y parameter is z is equal to 1 upon y that is z and y are reciprocal okay the reciprocal of matrix is nothing but inverse of matrix so reciprocal of matrix is obtained by taking its inverse and inverse how to obtain inverse the inverse is obtained by taking adjoint of matrix upon determinant of matrix so y matrix will be this one its uh, determinant will be y11 into y22 minus y12 into y21 like this and the adjoint of this 2 by 2 matrix is you have to interchange this two okay and change the sign of these two so here it is y22 y11 and then minus y12 minus y21 so therefore z parameter in terms of y parameter has this formula so we'll derive this formula we derive this formula z in terms of y similarly express y in terms of z exactly opposite to same similar to this one express y in terms of z so y is equal to 1 by z which is equal to z inverse which is equal to adjoint of z upon determinant of z now this is a z matrix its del z will be z11 into z22 minus z12 into z21 adjoint of this matrix is we have to interchange these two and we have to change the sign of this z11 z12 and z21 so the y matrix in terms of z matrix will be like this okay so z in terms of y and y in terms of z will be obtained like this now let us see the remaining <coughs> remaining one suppose if you want to express t in terms of h express t in terms of h now what is the general uh, procedure is what it is to express any one parameter in terms of other parameter the procedure is we have to write the equation of second parameter and convert this equation of second parameter into this first one okay so here uh, for example express t in terms of h so we write the equation of h parameter and we'll convert the equation of h parameter into the equation of t parameter okay so the equation of h parameter will be like this v1 is equal to h11 i1 plus h12 v2 first equation second equation i2 is equal to h21 i1 plus h22 v2 now from these two equation we have to obtain the equation of t parameter the equation of t parameter will be like this v1 is equal to a v2 minus b i2 and i1 is equal to c v2 minus d i2 okay so you require the bunch of these three variable v1 v2 i2 and i1 v2 i2 so i1 i2 and v2 you are getting from the second equation i1 i2 and v2 so we'll rearrange the equation 2 and from this equation 2 we'll find out i1 okay so we are getting i1 in terms of v2 and minus i2 
and that will give us the two parameter of t matrix okay so rearranging equation 2 s21 i1 we have to find out i1 so therefore s21 i1 is equal to this term will take this side so minus s22 into v2 plus i2 and then i1 is equal to we'll divide this s21 by these two terms we are getting this i1 is equal to minus s22 upon s21 v2 plus 1 upon s21 i2 this is we call equation 3 and this is comparing with the standard equation of uh, t parameter i1 is equal to c v2 minus d i2 so c has this value and d has this value this now they put this equation 3 in equation 1 okay we arrange equation 2 so therefore now we have to put this equation 3 in equation 1 we'll get the next two parameter of t parametrics so put 3 in 1 put 3 in 1 matlab we have to replace i1 from equation 1 ok so v1 is equal to h11 and i1 is replaced by this equation so i1 is equal to this ok plus h12 v2 ok now if you simplify this combine the terms of v2 so when you combine the terms of v2 h1 minus h11 h22 upon h21 plus h12 this is the terms of v2 h11 upon h21 this is a term of i2 and therefore this numerator is cross multiplications karne ke baad numerator is a del h del h upon h21 v2 minus h1 upon h21 i2 this is compared with the standard equation a v2 minus b i2 hence what are the abcd parameters so abcd parameters or t parameters is equal to uh, all four parameters has h21 common for the denominator so 1 upon h21 will be common a is nothing but del h upon h21 b is nothing but h11 upon h21 c is nothing but minus h22 upon h21 and d is equal to minus 1 upon h21 so in this way we will obtain a b c d in terms of h okay let us see now the second example express h in terms of y so the equation of y parameter we are going to write down and convert the equation of y parameter into the equation of h parameter okay so the equation of y parameter i1 is equal to y11 v1 plus y12 v2 i2 is equal to y21 v1 plus y22 v2 from this three equation we have to obtain equation of h parameter so this is the equation of h parameter v1 is equal to h11 i1 plus h12 v2 i2 is equal to h21 i1 plus h22 v2 so we require the bunch of v1 i1 v2 this is a one bunch of variable another bunch of variable is i2 i1 v2 so we have to see out of these two equation which equations contain this bunch of variable so equation 2 contain the bunch of three variable i2 uh, the equation 1 will contain the bunch of variable and that is i1 v1 v2 so this is i1 v1 v2 so rearranging equation 1 we have to find out v1 okay so by from this equation 1 we have to find out v1 so rearranging equation 1 y11 v1 is equal to i1 minus y12 v2 we are getting minus y12 v2 so v1 is equal to 1 upon y11 i1 minus y12 upon y11 v2 this is we call equation 3 and this will give us a two parameter of h matrix comparing this with the standard equation h11 i1 plus h12 v2 now put this equation 3 in other equation okay one wala equation hum no rearrange kiya hai to usme nahi put karna hai so we'll put this equation 3 in equation 2 okay so equation 3 equation 2 mein put karna hai matlab we have to replace the value of v1 from here. okay so i2 is equal to y21 and this is the value of v1 so we'll place the value of v1 plus y22 v2 now we'll combine the terms of v2 and i1 so i1 is y21 upon y11 i1 plus y22 minus y21 y12 upon y11 into v2 if you do the cross multiplication this in the maritons will use the determinant of y matrix so del y upon y11 v2 so i2 is equal to this sum this is comparing with the standard equation of second standard equation i2 is equal to h21 i1 plus h22 v2 okay so we'll get this uh, h parameter in terms of y parameter will be like this okay so let us see one more example 
express let us say that y in terms of t okay so we'll write the equation of t parameter and we'll arrange the equation of t parameter in terms of equation of y parameter so the equation of this is the equation of t parameter okay we have to find out from this is the equation of y parameter and this is the equation of y parameter i1 is equal to y11 v1 plus y12 v2 matlab you require i1 in terms of v1 v2 and you require i2 in terms of v1 v2 from from this which equations will get the i1 in terms of v1 v2 or i2 in terms of v1 v2 okay so from equation 1 we'll get i2 in terms of v1 v2 and therefore we'll rearrange equation 1 and we'll find out i2 in terms of v1 v2 so rearrange equation 1 we'll find out the i2 so i2 will be like this okay and we'll compare this with the equation i2 is equal to y21 v1 plus y22 v2 so we'll get the value of y21 and y22 now put this equation 3 in other equation that is equation 2 so put 3 into and the replace this uh, i2 by this equation so i1 is equal to c v2 minus d into i2 i2 is nothing but this one so we'll replace this uh, i2 by this equation 3 and then we'll simplify it i1 is equal to v1 terms will be d by b v1 plus c minus ad by b into v2 okay so this is uh, bc minus ad upon b but the determinants of uh, t matrix is ad minus bc here you are getting bc minus ad so therefore we'll take minus in common and then it is ad minus bc upon b so uh, i1 is equal to d by b v1 minus del t upon b v2 it is comparing with the standard equation i1 is equal to y11 v1 plus y12 v2 so we are getting y parameter in terms of a b c d parameter okay so the basic procedure is what it is okay express one parameter in terms of second parameter so write the equation of second parameter arrange the equation of second parameter in the form of equation of first parameter and how will you arrange is so out of these two equation one equation you have to rearrange okay call is equation 3 put this equation 3 in other equation we'll get the next two parameter this is a standard procedure to convert one parameter in terms of the other parameter thank you